We're back with our favorite gun dog. This time, we're training in the field. We're training in the blind. And our client was also oh gracious to get a new blind for his dog. And this is a Mo Marsh dog blind that has a cover over it. So this is different from our typical place board that doesn't have a cover on it. It's just a platform that can hide the dog and that we can put yes, stuff all girl. over it so that it matches the terrain. And now this trips her up. She's saying, hey dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't get in there. And that's just because there's a cover over it. So a nice little trick. We open up both sides and all we're gonna ask is for her to come through. Give me that little bit yes, of confidence. Just come through and then boom, I'm gonna mark it, I'm gonna reward. And we're just gonna do a good few girl. repetitions of even just going girl. in and out of the back. And then, hey, lo and behold, she's kind of getting it. She's figuring it out. The more comfortable she gets getting in here, the more good comfortable girl. she gets getting in there. And so then I close the back and now I start to just build some duration of her hanging in there, staying in there before I'm going to release her for a reward. And then we just spend some time working on this. We go to the pond's edge and we just spend some time, her getting comfortable with being on my side in the heel position or in my right position, her staying in there, me throwing the dummy out into the water, her waiting to retrieve it. So again, just like before, I want you to wait until I tell you to go and get it. And here she even brings it back in. We're just doing a, we're just doing random stuff. What I like to see too is without even much guidance from me, I just point, she goes in. That's what I really want to see. So we switch it up, we challenge her, and now we do it really blindly. So I close the door and she gets so amped. Look at that little nose. She's like, Oh, I heard it splash. What is that? Cute little thing, but I'm gonna correct that. I don't want any cheating. I don't want any pushiness trying to get out because if I allowed that, then she's going to be even pushier the next time. So I give her a little bop on the nose. I wanna fix that eagerness to get out even when I'm opening up the blind door because that could wreck our hunting. She could scare the birds. So. Again, this time I'm opening it up. I want to make sure that she's not going until I release her. And that's why I even fix that little nose popping out. So here we just do a simple cleanup game. This is stuff that she knows. This is easy. We just get some practice in the new blind. And then we're heading out to the flooded waters. And we're going to our blind. And this is what it looks like. So we got a place for me where I can sit in there. This is where we hunt and shoot some birds. And then there's the blind on the other side for her. And there is also a spot where we could have her on the right or the left. Here we have her on the left. And I'm just gonna get her again comfortable with this picture. So the blind's there. Now I'm halfway in. She's never seen this picture before. So we're gonna start out easy. I'm just gonna toss, toss a couple of dummies into the water. Not even that far. And I'm just gonna work on her patience. Her going out to retrieve it, bring it back to me, going back in the blind every single time, at least almost every single time, that she brings me something back, she's gonna have to go into her blind, and here we're just saving frogs. Just a little fun, this is a fun activity. We wanna make this a fun activity, so we're just gonna again do some easy cleanup. I wanna build her drive and her understanding from this picture, her seeing me, halfway yeah, into the ground. Sure. She's never seen this before. So a lot of dogs, this could be confusing. This could be hard to read. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting just some good reps, her cleaning up, and this is something that she knows. This is easy. I don't really have to do too much training, but again, every time she's associating going and picking something up and she's coming back to me and retrieving it, she has to go back into her blind. So we're gonna start to challenge her a little bit more and we're gonna throw some stopping and directing in. So I'm gonna send her out, and I'm gonna make it easy. I'm gonna have her just go for the easy one, whichever one she picks. I don't really care. I just told her to go back, and she gets to choose. But this time, I'm gonna stop her with a one nice long whistle. So remember, one whistle says, hey, I need you to stop, I need you to look at me. I'm also using that remote training collar on vibrate specifically with this sensitive girl. And I'm saying in combination with the whistle and that remote collar, hey, I need you to stop. I need you to look at me because I'm going to give you some sort of direction, right? And so that's different from the three whistles. 
that say, hey, I need you to come back home. And she's doing fantastic with this. This isn't too hard. So what we're going to do is we're gonna throw in some distance because distance is going to make things a little bit harder. So here we shoot one very far away. And this has even a gunshot noise. She does great. She's waiting patiently. But what I want her to do is I want her to go for the hard one that's far yeah. away. Here she just did that. I didn't yeah. need to tell her. Love it. I'm just going to praise the crap out of that. But this is something that she struggles with. She struggles with always getting the easy one and never really going for the hard one. Or if she sees one that's easier and she has one, she'll let it go and she'll go and get the one that's easy. So here, again, one that's super far away and one's close. I take this time to stop her and send her back to the one that she was going for originally. She was going for that white one, but then she saw that orange one. She's like, oh, that's easier. I'm going to go for that. I just Good wanted girl. to practice. Hey, I need you to go yeah. for that back one. Now, am I always going to have to do this? No. And should she just be able to go and get the easy one? Absolutely. But this is good training. This is good practice. And hopefully we'll get her into the habit of going for the hard ones, not always the easy ones. So here we got three in the water. One over here, one over there, one back there. I'm going to send her out. And again, I'm going to stop her from getting the easier one and just practice her going and getting a different one. But here... We start to get a little confused and or she's just really drivey for that one. And this isn't really the end of the world. And again, this is just good practice. I want to practice stopping her mid retrieve of one to send her to another just so she has some impulse control as well. She's able to take direction from me. So again, here I'm stopping her and I'm trying to send her to the harder one back there. Now, again, this is I actually am making somewhat of a mistake on this repetition. And I'll explain why, because this is just too hard and too confusing and I've been doing it too long. So here she gets confused, she comes back to me. And ideally, we don't want that. We want her out in the field, we want her out working to find it, right? So here I even get out of the blind, I have to help her go for the back one. And I just want to start to condition this dog to be able to stay out and work for it. So from here on out, I'm going to make it a little bit easier for her because I don't want to get her confused. And so we're going to even just do something as easy as practicing closing the blind and, and making sure that she doesn't see what's going on or where things are. I'm going to throw some dummies out there and then she has to go out and she has to find it, but she didn't get to see where it went. Good so girl. she's got to trust that it's out there. And that's the biggest thing that's going to keep her out there that she can trust that it's out there. So before my camera died, Another thing that we did was we chucked some of these dummies super far away and behind some of these peninsulas. So on the other side, she'd have to go and she'd have to go and find it. And that means she had to really stay out in the field. And so now we're just going to clean up. And again, I really like this blind by Mo Marsh because it assembles really easy. It disassembles really easy. I get to clean it like pretty much every part comes apart and goes back together. So the only thing left to do is clean off our dog. We had a great day out in the field.